In our last video, we had an incredible stay at Steve and Sarah's Chateau de Saint-Germain-des-Prés. The wallpaper commenced on our own chateau's maximalist bathroom, and we headed to Stephanie Jarvis's Chateau de la Lande, arriving in the wee hours of the night. This week, we continue our renovations and share our incredibly short but fabulous stay at La Lande, where Simon got the complete virgin tour. And then, are we crazy? The Sagrada Familia in Barcelona? What are we doing there? Is it finished? Will always be La vie Finishing this top floor bathroom is one of the most exciting things because we've been working on it for ages. We can't wait to get these top floor bedrooms done so we can start having a house full of guests. You saw me turn a very, very old and dilapidated bathtub into a resplendent copper bathtub. I'm actually standing on it right now. And then today I am doing this beautiful chinoiserie wallpaper. This bathroom is inspired by the bedroom to which it's attached, which is, I think, inspired by the costumes we're going to Venice. I think I'm, my head is full of Marie Antoinette, and so it's bright colors and toile de jouie and chinoiserie and exuberance and light and fun and happiness. And I can't wait to show all of you the finished product. Now, back to work. So yes, while we are back home and back to renovating, one of the most fun things that I enjoy sharing with you are our adventures with our other friends and their chateau. So let's get in the car and go back in time a few days to our fabulous drive down to the Chateau de la Lande, where you'll also find out why we snuck away in the wee hours of the morning. What on earth could make us want to miss one of Stephanie's legendary cocktail parties? short. So we are on our way to the incredible Chateau de la Lande, home of our lovely friend Stephanie. And this is a very exciting trip for us because Simon has never been. No, nope, I've never seen it. So this will be my first trip to la Lande. Yeah, so I haven't seen any of the uh, vlogs really, or any of the uh, TV shows. So this is all going to be new. I haven't seen La Lande. I have no idea what it looks like or what the house is like. So I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> it's it's all we can do these days to get him to watch my vlogs, right? I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, all our friends again. It's a lovely drive. It's a beautiful evening. So the last time I was at La Lande, it was just over a year ago, and it's when I first met Stephanie. And it's incredible everything that's happened since then, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. Absolutely. All the adventures that uh, we've all had, it's been, uh, it's been really a quite, quite a uh, surprise. I don't think ever in our wildest dreams would we imagine that we would have met so many people and made so many new friends on the back of meeting Stephanie and also through our own vlog. It's been really extraordinary. Is everyone has the same interests. That's really uh, what brings everyone together. When we first arrived here 20 years ago or so, it was hard to find people that had just bought Chateau or even owned Chateau. A whole group of people that have embarked on this crazy adventure of buying and owning a Chateau and doing it up. So yeah, I and mean, it's been awesome to meet everybody. Not far now. I'm going to be really interested to see your reaction when you see Lalonde for the first time? Well apparently it's quite spectacular so I'm really looking forward to it. Yes it is. I'm really looking forward to it as well. Because we couldn't leave our own house until after we were finished with work on Friday, it meant us arriving very 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 late to Lalonde. But naturally Stephanie and Philip graciously had waited up for us. We've just arrived and Philip has brought us up to the Bon Maman bedroom because we love all things Art Nouveau and it's the most beautiful Art Nouveau bed. You won't believe what's waiting for me on the bed. And you might get excited because yes, Simon is waiting for me on the bed, but that's not what I'm here to show you. Isn't that beautiful? There's one for me. And there's one for Simon. And I'm actually a little bit giddy. So let's open this up. I want you all to see this. It's a beautiful Eau de Nile. And 
rose, of course, La Vie en Rose, in a toile de jouy. And did you get one too? <laughs> don't put me in Don't it. put you in the video. <laughs> the video? I'm naked. You're not naked. Well, I'm, I'm about <laughs> as naked as I want to be for any man's vlog, thank you very much. It's like, it's like the images that you see on Venetian paper. So beautiful. A wonderful marbleized pattern. I'm still, though, mostly in love with mine. Welcome to La Lande. I love it. Good morning, everyone. This is my view waking up. The only thing better than being in an exquisite chateau is being here with friends. And I'm actually swathed in this gossamer cloud of a 100 stars robe. Simon's next door in the bathroom singing. Clearly he's very happy. I can't wait to show Simon Lalonde. I realize a lot of you have been watching Stephanie's videos on the Chateau Diaries, but some of you haven't. Some of you are my friends and family and, uh, and maybe a handful of other people. And so this is a fantastic way that we're all going to experience Lalonde for the very first time. Nice shower. <laughs> yes. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not showing you. <laughs> oh, wow. Turn around, show me. Oh, I love it. It's like a perfect weight for summer, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's the most beautiful dressing gown. Yeah, totally perfect. Good morning. What are your first impressions? Proportions of the room in mm -hmm. here, very it's much. Beautiful. Um, this reminds me of our old, of our old chateau, uh -huh. more so than our new one. I knew when our rooms are smaller. Mm -hmm. This is like our older place where the rooms were very big. I well, think what Stephanie's done with it is really nice. She's done some great, got some nice touches. You can see her touches everywhere. And I, and I haven't been around really to look at the at the property to yet. You've no, just yeah, woken up in this room. Just in the bedroom, though, you can see. This is, is going to be a whole a whole day of firsts for you in so many ways. I would like to go like this. I think you should go like that. I think you should spend the day like that. And then here we have our bathroom. It's very beautiful. I love the kidney shaped dressing table, and of course the original bath. This is the view while I'm getting ready. <laughs> wow. It turned the fountain on. <laughs> I'm just a little bit too far away, but there's Stephanie's window right there. I feel like I could take little pebbles and just throw them to wake her up. Wake up, Stephanie. We're only here for one day. Let's go have fun. Okay. <gasps> Good morning. <laughs> I'm off to Emos. Meanwhile, look at all this great stuff oh going God, on in the background. <laughs> it's already smelling incredible. Well done, you guys. Oh, Simon's already found <laughs> your lunch. <laughs> Simon's made himself right at home. It wasn't that soup, was it? Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Wish me luck finding treasures. Time for more treasure hunting. <laughs> for the girl who has everything. And it's a pretty amazing one, isn't it? <laughs> That's not just any peacock. It's really not. It's a hand embroidered peacock. Wow. <laughs> I've just found something that I want to get for Sarah. I think she'll really like it. This is a little box. It looks like a tea box that is to hold sewing stuff. And as she is my best sewing friend, I think that's a great little gift. And the price is right. So this is my favorite thing, is to find the treasures in here. This looks interesting though. This is a whole tapestry of the woman at the organ. 
I can't I believe it. Really Look at the work that's gone into that. Found. It's fantastic. I mean, obviously the most critical thing that I have found. Oh, I, I love have it. lived without it so far in my Hot life. Hot pink play suit. How yeah. could you? Yeah. It's magic. Yes, so it's beautiful. That's beautiful, beautiful. The key piece. Uh -huh. uh, but beyond that, we found such pretty things. Mm -hmm. Such a lovely. Beautiful. And they're embroidered. Yes. I love NB. them. NB. I don't know any NBs. NBs. We'll have to put our nice. heads together on that one. Nice. I love so it. Pretty. Well done. And I've spotted this hand carved platter, which we've all decided is so bad it's good. I'm being chauffeured up to La Lande by Stephanie and Philip. This is pretty good. I, th I think all your guests should expect this sort of treatment. <laughs> well, mommy's car won't be here for long, sadly. Oh, no. We have to make the most of it whilst it's here. Thank you, Isabel, for sharing your lovely car with us. Home sweet home. Or Simon would say, home again, home again, jiggity jig. <laughs> what? I know, I don't, he says it every time, I don't know why. Oh. It's probably well, some British nursery rhyme yeah, yeah, or yeah, something. Home again, home again, jiggity jig, we always say that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Home Is home that a thing? Home home Apparently it's jig. a thing, Philip. All right, it's a thing now. <laughs> We've just spotted Thor. Oh, he's so beautiful. And look who's here! Steve and Sarah just arrived. <laughs> We're so yeah. excited. It's been ages since we've seen you guys. It, it, it yeah. has been. It feels like it feels like a whole week. A whole, yeah. Even a whole five <laughs> days, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it great to be at the lawn again, though? Oh yeah. my gosh, it's it's wonderful. And this is our first, well, my first time in the kitchen. Mm. Yeah. Yes, it's just as fabulous. <laughs> It's everything you see on the vlog. It's blue and white. I know, it's so great. It's yeah. so great. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but Simon has not seen any of the vlogs. He doesn't even right. remember the little bits of my vlog, which I didn't feature very much at all from last year. He hasn't seen any of Stephanie's. He hasn't Aww. seen any Chateau DIY. He got here. He's like, oh, it's beautiful. Aww. And we got him here good. and he looked around. He said, Oh, the kitchen, it's all blue and white, which for anybody who yeah. who is seven degrees separated from anything to do with, Aww, <laughs> with I'm anything. Long, he's on the lawn virgin. That's he awesome. is. So it's going to be really fun. He's going to get the virgin so tour. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's we're so excited in about 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. we're gonna see, we're gonna see the look on Simon's face when he walks around and sees everything that the rest of us have <laughs> been, been seeing for the years. last for hour. Years. Yeah, yeah exactly. well, that's that's My new best friend from hello, the south. Hello, hello, yes, another, another southerner here. Southern girls, and so this is a, a cordon bleu level southern uh, girl, kind of. Yeah, getting there, getting making there. Making magret de canard. Mm -hmm. So you scored the yeah, fat, I've, and yeah, we'll score just cleaning and trimming um, a little bit to get everything cook. You know, cook at the right angle, and then we'll sear them, and then yeah. pop them in the oven for a little bit, and get all the duck fat. So you're actually going to sear and then oven. Yes, sear and oven. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to sear like way before we sit down. That's the beauty, beautiful thing about making duck, especially mm -hmm. for our parties, because you can do it most of it all right away. Yeah. Because at our house we usually sear and serve. Mm -hmm. But your sear. I'll sear, wait a while, then pop in the oven so we can enjoy. Hello, and there's our other cook. I would love um, to see how you do that because. Um, I'm really fascinated with your technique. And I'm also a little bit jealous because I really wanted to wear my robe, which is exactly like your robe, all day long, and you're just going for it. I'm just going for it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh no, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I'm I'm wasting no time. That's a that's a uh, level like that's I I'm now I'm I'm thinking that I really made the wrong choice. You know, you just really have to grab life, you know, as it comes I, I think so. I and think when so. this thing landed in my lap this morning, I went, well, there's my day. Yeah. This is what I shall do. Yeah, good pictures are yeah. looking matching. Maybe we should all wear them for dinner tonight, what do you think? <laughs> I'm sorely <laughs> tempted. Unfortunately, mine party. doesn't fit very well, but <laughs> it is beautiful. Like a, I am 100% sure Sarah can tweak it. Mm -hmm. Sarah can do magic with her sewing machine. She can. We're going to fit you in your 100 stars <laughs> row. <laughs> And then you'll never take it off, even it, Simon. It, it, it would, Once he put it on, oh he's like, gosh. okay. It won't be the first time I'm wearing a robe in this house if anybody is familiar with, this, with the Chateau Diaries. It's, it's, it's the La Lande uniform, isn't it? Yeah. It's very comfy, though. The dressing gown. 
Yes, a dressing gown, not red. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Oh, really? yeah. so, uh, then there's no what are you making here? Uh, we're just making some red potatoes. Lovely. Some, uh, uh, potatoes from the garden. And are you using the duck fat? Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Brilliant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're using the rosemary for the potatoes, and uh -huh. then now uh, I picked a bunch of other herbs for the starter. Lovely. And what's the starter? You'll find out. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh, a surprise. Everything is a surprise. Oh, and Marie, what do you call your cake in oh, the corner? Um, <laughs> well, it's a cardamom and lemon raspberry cake with uh, some uh, also surprising ingredients, which I won't reveal now. <laughs> okay. You've seared it, but you haven't put it in the oven yet. Correct, yes. This is just the skin has been seared on top, and um, yeah, and it'll go in the oven right before before we make. That's for the guests. And these sauce. are the bits for the sauce. Yes, okay, I need... And Pavlina's looking like an angel. <laughs> I tried to replicate what Annalise did yeah. to my hair as best as I could, but of course, She's there. You look Hello. so beautiful. I know she's very talented, isn't she? So Klaus is starting the tour while we wait for Philip. And they're heading straight down to the boathouse. I just spotted a hedgehog iron welcome mat. Fantastic. For Simon to get the tour. The last time I was here was with Isabella and we stayed in the beautiful Chambre Rose. This time we are in the gorgeous Chambre Bon Maman and we're now sitting in a corner. Simon's not allowed to look at anything until we get the tour. So Philip, who is famous for his tours, is going to give Simon the tour. He's seen the kitchen. <laughs> Yeah. I'm really uh, intrigued by all of the decorating and everything. It's so this was designed in the 19th century as a uh -huh. dining room. So that was bricked up. That's the original 16th century fireplace. Right. One well, the only things left standing after the fire. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Some of the exterior walls were as well, but the interior was pretty much gone. And they bricked it up and put a tiny little 19th century fireplace in front of it. Uh-huh. Made it like, appear symmetrical. And then Steph found the 16th century one behind it. Incredible. Fires of a plate um, with the coat of arms of the family of Marquis who used to live here. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. One of one of the things I like in here is wallpaper. The yes. Panoramic wallpaper. That's really nice, and it gives a feel of being outdoors, mm -hmm. which you know is accentuated by the planting inside mm -hmm. and the orchids. So I think that you know it gives it a sort of. Uh, feel of a conservatory or a little bit like a little bit of a sort of outdoor and indoor room. Mm -hmm. so they, exactly what Steph was going for actually. Yeah. No, yeah, and that's exactly what it is, is there anything in here that inspires you for our house? Well I love the chandelier. Okay. It's, it's pretty cool. It's very fabulous. It's definitely, definitely uh, yeah you can tell that's Murano. Well let's start with the Grand Salon. Um, oh okay. So yeah. So Simon when I was here before this was all completely this was a beautiful room with the uh -huh. painting. Uh, this is from Stephanie's yes. father. Oh yeah yeah yeah. And wow. it was hanging on the wall that's behind me mm -hmm. which is this wall back here. Mm -hmm. And this room was completely, uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful salon, yeah. and it's been basically Strips. stripped. Wow. And it's going to have magnificent, actual 18th century boiserie put on the walls. Which it's going to be spectacular. Fun. And Amory's the one doing all of this work, isn't yes. he? Yeah. Yes. He's a massive job. He's still finishing up a project we were doing for Channel 4. Uh-huh. And as soon as that's done, he's going to... Kepistan. He's going to come in here. When I was here before, the thing that I was most excited about seeing was Stephanie's father's art. So isn't it incredible up close? I mean, look at the yeah. scale of it. So it's, it's you're what, about 5'10", Simon? Right. And you're, the painting is nearly as tall as you are. The precision is so beautiful. And then we had the privilege of seeing Stephanie see the tiles. Yes. Uh, the tile designs for the first time last night, yeah, last yeah, week yeah, yeah. weekend with Steve. I mean... It's, it's really, it's yeah, very, see, very special. The... And we're really sad because Amory and Natty aren't here this week. They're not. I know. They have a little we would have loved to have seen them because, yeah. you know, we had a lot of fun all together in Venice, but. Yeah. So this opening was made in, in the 19th century uh -huh. um, as, uh, because this was a hallway, right? Mm -hmm. So they wanted right. yeah. to get through to the room next door without having yes. to go to the salon, which was yes. half the size. Yes. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have hidden doors on either side. It's going to be cocktail bar. Oh, okay. nice. Uh, I just absolutely love mixing the art, the family paintings, the more contemporary stuff yeah. with with all of the other furnishings from the different eras because, I mean, it's a, it's a home and it's a collection. That's the point. It, it's, it's not, we don't want to make it look like a museum, right? Exactly. It has to be added by every generation. Of course, of, of course. And we try and have one of Derek's paintings in every room. 
Yeah. And uh, they go through here. This is the window cell. Which oh, okay. Designed as the. Um, wow, this is what so Designed as the uh, billiard room. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. So. Yes, yeah, certainly. We we'll turn it into salon. Yes. Uh, it will be turned into a proper library eventually with like built in bookshelves all the way around. And then, Simon, did you see behind me there's this other beautiful painting which is also by Stephanie's father? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a totally different style. Yeah. Pretty talented. Artist. Look at this one, Simon. So, this is all in black and white. We just got rid of our billiard room and turned it into mm -hmm. a kitchen. Yeah. And we had one of these lights. We do. But we got rid of it. Right. Sure. But it looks actually beautiful used in a just a normal non billiard room setting. Yeah. It's very lovely. Well, we have the original billiard room. Yeah. And we know what we're going to do with it, but we're not revealing really it yet. Oh, yeah, secret okay. secrets. Okay. Super. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. It's going to be changed a lot in the next few years. Ooh. Okay. Um, because basically, we're going to redo the back facade. We obviously don't know. So they um, just put the windows in the back facade after they do okay. oh, okay. so think of it. So, but on the all engravings, it is yeah. all symmetrical. Right. So we might as we we might find old uh, openings. So That's another an fabulous painting. This is an interesting uh, room in here. It's kind of a, but the kitchen's there. So what was this? It's a it's just a transitional. Room. Hallway through to the stairs here. And this is a small dining room. Right. Oh, it was a small dining room, isn't it? Yes. Okay. What a beautiful day. I want to show you one of my very favorite things. Look at this bed. So I would it's... never have guessed that was a favorite of yours. You never would have? <laughs> really? Really, considering we've been putting them in every one of our bedrooms. I love the era as well, because this yeah. is going like pure Renaissance. So that you made it from the uh, panelling of the winter salon. And she's made uh, nearly panels. all of the curtains herself as well. Yes, I think all of them. Which is amazing. I didn't see the mirror in here. Again. No. It's much better. Right? It looks good in here, yeah. yeah. It represents spaces, mm -hmm. and the structures of the, of the buildings are very similar across the styles, but how he's incorporated them has, has changed quite drastically. This is a very different look to the others, yeah. So um, this bathroom is I think one of my favorites. You like this bathroom? I love it. Yeah, I can see I mean, what's not to like about a marbleized bathtub? Right. I mean, I thought I was being fancy with my no, copper bathtub, that's, that's but that's tremendous. pretty fantastic. That is tremendous. Your copper bathtub is fantastic too. Uh, yeah, I like it very much and I like the modern, the modern turn. I, like. I love the mirror. Yes, it's, you love the Venetian mirrors, I know. I do like Venetian mirrors, yeah. I love the curtains. And of course, the Toile de Jouy is gorgeous. Yeah, the curtains, the curtains. Actually, I don't really like Toile de Jouy very much, but I, <laughs> I don't, I don't. I'm, af I'm afraid we can't stay married any longer like this. if you don't this like Toile de Jouy anymore. This is nice. The colours are nice and calming. That's yeah. Amazing. What's your favourite? Right, we'll just go on and off and off. Right. Do we, go do we have time to see the chapel? Let's do that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. None of them wanted the help. Hey, Dexter. <laughs> Hi. You coming with us? We're going to see the chapel. Yeah, you got me with that one as well. Yeah. Okay. Aren't they incredible, the, the angels on the outside? Yeah, they're just amazing. Just amazing. I love this. We can see oh, the Oh, wow. The saints. Oh, I love the roof. Good grief. The painting. This is all from which period? 1860. Oh, okay. Five to 1860. But it's copied a much earlier period, obviously copied a medieval period. Beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Come with us. Oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, you've lost that. Oh, so, so pretty. And uh, all the windows have been restored. Yeah. 
that's um, this one had a missing face. Steve actually had a design fix. Yeah. It's completely gone. Oh, wow. And Just last year, none of these windows were in place. None of this was here. And already it's just completely transformed. Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit like this is going to like the Sagrada Familia, where you have to come back every year to see how much progress they've made, yeah. which we're hoping to go do soon because it's really incredible when, you know, when the light starts coming in through the windows and um, you've got these beautiful and frescoes. Yeah. That's the one that the fake got redone. Yeah. Okay. It's almost like water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the woman used to, the Marquise used to give the people, uh, the, the kids in the area, like like Sunday school. She yeah. Did, like Bible lessons. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here in the chapel every week, I think. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's amazing. I just heard that the um, chapel used to look like it yeah. was just built. Oh, it would have been like a jewel box. It would have been like Saint Chapelle right. in Paris. Yes. I but think about the work, just the painting. I know. The hours that have gone into the, the precision. Looking at it, well, it's extraordinary. Is, is you know probably weeks, and uh, all the stars on the ceiling and all the gorgeous. And then these statues. Exactly. All these statues. They're beautifully carved. Okay. 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 So, and painted. Yeah. And it's so good that they're being preserved because this really is a big part of history. To start, not to yeah. finish. That's the old, oldest part, and yeah. that's like partly old and yeah. partly new. Yeah. And this is all new. Yeah. And um, you can see that that's the one I was talking about. Yeah. There's Dan, the one, the one above. all dressed up for dinner and apparently still working. You just make it look symmetrical. Yes. You're the most stylish gardener I've ever seen. <laughs> you caught me doing some gardening. I did, and you're really yeah, not you're dressed really for it. <laughs> this is now my gardening outfit. I know, course. actually, I think everybody would love to see. <laughs> Classic. And, uh, very, very nice. It's like you're like the James Bond gardener. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. yeah, it's good, it's good. You've actually got really pretty light behind you as well. Mm, it's amazing. You've got a fun. halo there. I always do. It's not the light. <laughs> I'm determined I want to go see Peachix. And Thor has decided that he's going to lead the way. This garden is completely transformed since I was last here. Completely. Get ready for a cuteness overload. We have the mama. We do. Oh, they're so sweet. They are so, so sweet. <gasps> Hello, beauties. <laughs> Simon's helping Philip set the table, but I couldn't leave without seeing the pea chicks. <laughs> and actually, I'm so happy I got to see the garden as well. Simon's gonna have to wait till next time because we're leaving at the crack of dawn in the morning. But, wow. And I'm broody and I think we need to have pea chicks. So it's like a competition between the guys because Dan looks fantastic. Yeah, but he's wearing a jacket. And I'm sorry, you it's too warm for You look fantastic. I mean, this is a wonderful ensemble. Simon's hiding because he's not looking <laughs> as, as resplendent as you are. <laughs> the last time I saw you, you were watering plants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very much just And now you're making situation. it sauce. Yeah. You really are. I'm everywhere. There's more than one of me. A man with many, many <laughs> talents. Before everybody sits down, I want to show you this incredible table that Philip has just laid. Look at this. It's just perfect. Look at that view. But best of all, look at all of these beautiful people.
And a nice sound of the champagne popping. Oh, yeah. Wow. A bit much? But you know, yeah, it's going to come up. Yeah, right? He did it as a, like, what, like, like, kind of a... Yeah, like, 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 I'm just going to do yeah. it. I reckon. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh it's it's so, so, so good. good pressure pressure in your that's really nice. Oh, it's so <laughs> delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, they just yeah, saw yeah, me. Yeah, on your right? On your right? I covered the whole table. Yeah. And we're going to get... Oh, my God. Seriously. We're going to get too many from every angle. Thank you. 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 We're sneaking off at 5 30 in the morning because we have a plane to catch. But we had a wonderful stay at La Land. It's a really special property, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody again. You kiss me, heaven sighs. So here we are traveling on the way down to Spain. What on earth made us sneak away so early in the morning? The best reason of all, our incredible daughter Isabella was graduating from university and in the same week celebrating a milestone birthday. We are so incredibly proud of her. She got her BSc in Microbiology, Virology and Infectious Diseases with a special diploma in Advanced Spanish. And she's going to be going on to do her master's next year. So as a surprise, we decided to take her down to Spain to do a little celebration, staying close to Barcelona. Now we did promise her that we would not vlog her graduation and birthday experience, hence the delay in this getting this video out. However, we did not promise that we wouldn't show you a little bit of the incredible progress happening at Sagrada Familia. Is it finished? This morning we were in France and now we're in Spain. Yes, we are. Where are we? Barcelona. No trip to Barcelona is complete without a trip to visit the incredible Sagrada Familia. Gaudi's masterpiece. Dominating the Barcelona skyline is the incredible Basilica de Sagrada Familia, which was created by the renowned Catalan architect Antoni Gaudi. Though Barcelona is full of Gaudi's impressive structures, this was by far his grandest project, and he worked on it until his death. Stylistically, it's an extraordinary mix of Spanish late Gothic, Catalan modernism, Art Nouveau, and even a little bit of Cubism thrown in. How long has it been since you've been here? 20 years. I do remember that indoors here last time there was scaffolding and lots of uh, work, you know, partitions for workmen. That's all gone. So uh -huh. now it's, you've got the whole spacious interior. Well, yeah, there's some stained glass windows that need to be done. I can see the main three mock ups over here. Okay, so over there. So then, I remember when you and I were here before that a lot of these stained glass windows weren't in. In being in here last time, it was very hard to see exactly how it was going to look finished. And now you have it completely finished. It's, uh, uh, you know, it's amazing, but you can see exactly the intention of the, of the forest canopy inside that Gaudi uh, intended to have in here with the different tree trunks and the different types of trees. He also intended to have, you know, that connection with nature. And he also intended to have the different colored stained glass all of them colors representative of Jesus and his lifetime. You know, what I really like is the lot of light in here. There's a lot of space. All the chapels that are in here, of which I think there are only seven, are up at the nave end, the mm -hmm. altar end. Of, it's uncluttered.
it'll be the only one in, a, in the world that looks like this, that has anything like this. So Barcelona as a city is very lucky to have it. But after over a hundred years, the question that everybody wants to know is, is it finished? We were hoping that we would see the Sagrada Familia finished, but they're still working on it. See, the towers are being worked on the scaffolding, but it gives us another excuse to come back. We're all great lovers of history and um, romance and, you know, art. Uh, and we're also a little bit crazy. You kiss me heaven sighs And though I close my eyes I see la vie When you press me to your heart I'm in a world apart A world where roses bloom And when you speak Angels sing from above Everyday words seem to turn into love songs Give your heart and soul to me And life will always be